they are at the first ever shoot for Broad. Say it with me, Broad. For me, skincare is self-care. It's taking care of yourself. I love the ritual of skincare. Taking off my makeup or cleansing my skin and doing my routine. That is something that's always been very precious and important to me. This is my morning skincare routine for I go to the gym. It just makes my brain explode and I feel so happy when I've done my skincare routine for the evening right before I go to bed. And I'm just dewy and scrumptious. And I love the idea of your skin just looking like you want to take a bite out of it. Skincare in itself is something I've been really passionate about for a long time. And I think that if you're not passionate about the brand that you're trying to start, then there's no point in doing it. I always had the idea for a really long time. I always had the itch since I was a lot younger, probably 17, 18 years old. When COVID happened, the world kind of stopped and everything was really quiet. What a better time than now to really dive into everything. And I started reading books. I started doing these online courses for dermatology and skincare. And that is when I started making the calls to you to say, I don't know what I'm doing. This is my idea. How can we execute this. I always knew I wanted to create a brand around the name Road and create this world of Road. Road is my middle name. It's my mom's middle name. To me, it always sounded like it flowed so nicely. My grandmother is a gorgeous, beautiful woman, and she has always had gorgeous, beautiful skin. And she had things that worked for her that she passed down to my mom. My mom also always had really gorgeous, beautiful skin. She's passed down so many tips and tricks that I've applied to myself, and then I kind of make it my own, and I have my own method and formula. When people would ask me, like, what do you do and what do you use? At the end of the day, I think there has to be a sense of being honest that genetics do play a part and you can't just say, oh, I use this on my face and I have for 10 years and that's the reason why my skin is 100% great. I think that this brand is happening exactly at the right time and the right place in my life. Any moment sooner, any time sooner, I just wouldn't be the same because I think my style has evolved, my taste has evolved, my experiences have evolved, and all of that is being poured directly into the brand. Okay, welcome everybody to the first ever road board meeting. I want this to be a startup from the ground, ground, ground up, and I want to be a part of it from the ground up. I also really wanted to keep it small, keep it people that I trusted. I just was very intentional about every person that I brought on. We have Lauren, who is the head of brand. I honestly like the test shot even better. That first one. Wow, that one's like iconic. Right? Isn't that, the, that's the one, right? That's the one. It's insane. That was your first one. Sometimes they call me the one-shot wonder. You are the one-shot wonder. <laughs> I was able to bring things to her and bounce things off of her. I feel like she just got it right away and really understood it and understands my taste and my style and my aesthetic and my vibe. And that has just been so helpful with putting everything together. And then we have Claudia. She is our CMO. She is somebody who has a lot of experience in the beauty world, skincare, has worked with other incredible skincare brands and just brought that real, real skincare business knowledge that we needed. All right. So in the last few weeks since we've spoken, uh, lots of things have happened getting connected with people who are really experts in the field and asking the questions that I'd always wanted answers to. Can you explain so that we all know what the Camu Camu is? And I'm when you say benefit. barrier repair, does that kind of go hand in hand with hydration? So it's a Brazilian ingredient, um, great antioxidant, vitamin C. It's one of the best sources of vitamin C. And really diving into skin type. It makes sense for the brand to put out both because some people are going to have oily skin and they're not going to like the heavier cream. And then some people will like the heavier cream because they're dry. Just really, really taking the time to get super educated. The silver is an ingredient that I've been researching a lot lately. I'm actually introducing a cleanser with it. Why? Because of its antimicrobial activities, which I think mm -hmm. is really important. I wanted to be really specific about 
the formulas and the science and the ingredients, bringing people together that could help guide me. If I didn't have this team, it would be a little, it would be bad. The core of it being the quality of the brand and the quality of the actual product. That was the, always the most important thing to me. And I will see you guys soon. Wow, it looks so good. This looks great. Hi. This is Road HQ. They really did that. They did that. Mm -hmm. They killed that. I want people to step into the world of road and feel included and feel like they can be a part of it, feel like they can afford it, feel like the stuff that I'm using on my skin is the same thing that you can use on your skin. I have to ask your opinion on something. Haley needs your thoughts. Hi. <laughs> She's like, Mina, look. Look at both of these. Mina, look at these. What well, color do you like? Which one do you like? Which one do you think is the burgundy ish one or the chocolate brown one? A couple weeks ago, I got like, we went through, me and Lauren and Damien, we went through a chart of like price point, and they wanted to go somewhere in the mid, upper 30s, 40s, and I wanted to drop lower. The things that have a lot of longevity are those staple, affordable, go-to, just good quality products. And that was exactly what I wanted to do. Everybody does a lip product. There's a lot of lip products on the market, but I think the reason that I wanted to include it and I think it's important is because I don't think a lot of people consider that a lip is a part of your everyday skincare routine before you go to bed in the morning, before you, like, I can't handle dry lips, it really, it bugs me. So it was important to have this be a part of it. And to add something like a peptide into a lip is something I don't feel like I've really seen or heard of yet. We can't ignore the lips. Such a thin, yeah. thin layer, <laughs> thin layer, it's sensitive, it's, it's prone to dehydration. We've reformulated things, some of them like 15, 16, 17 times. Why? Because even if it was almost right, I could have sat there and been like, all right, it's close enough. I always push forward because if it could be better, I was gonna make it better. Our approach of limited release kind of comes from this idea of having one of everything really good. It's the approach that I take with my style a lot of the time. Everybody has that, you know, like one pair of jeans that they just keep going back to. That one amazing blazer that they keep going back to. And if they become these like staple items in your wardrobe or in your life. And that's the same how I feel about skincare. You find these staple items that, you know what, I've tried everything, but I keep going back to the one. Anybody who's been working with me on this company knows that I came into it and I said, look, I don't believe in slapping your name on something for the sake of putting your name on it because somebody came to me with a contract and said, guaranteed you're about to make, you know, X amounts of dollars and this is just smart for you to do. Because I had a lot of people come to me, hey, let's do this, let's do this, your own skincare line, but you know, we're in charge of the products and the packaging and this. And I just, it wasn't worth it to me at the end of the day. I think for it to have barrier repair cream and then deep hydration layer and then the 50 ml, it's too many things on the front for me personally. At the end of the day, I feel like every decision that I've made, I've had to just try my best to follow my gut and follow my instincts. We had to really pinpoint what was the best material that was still going to be environmentally friendly and conscious while still being able to be in the shapes that we wanted, the colors that we wanted, the aesthetic that we wanted. And that was how we got to the conclusion that PCR, post-consumer recycled plastic, was going to be the best. It didn't feel right to me to create a brand that was going to be wasteful. 
that was going to be not considerate of the environment. been dreaming about this my whole life. Here we are, it's the first day, first shoot, first campaign ever, not the last. I'm so used to showing up to set for it to be for something else, for someone else, and this is entirely my whole thing. Yeah. We're just like in the bathroom. Okay, cool. Because the way I think about it is if I'm getting ready to go somewhere, go mm -hmm. out, I'll have gotten out of the shower and towel dried my hair and then put sweats on to get ready. Okay, cool. That is your the client and talent. <gasps> That's true. I just didn't want too many cooks in the kitchen. I wanted it to be exactly how I saw it. And I think the only way to do that is to start from the ground up and do the work yourself. Thank you for trusting my vision. Today we're shooting the cover of Birdie for the launch of Road. I'm just very excited. This is a very curated and edited line of essentials. So that's a gel serum mm -hmm. that we kind of played with this very interesting. It comes out as a cool whipped gel texture and then as you rub it in, it kind of thins out like a serum. Mm -hmm. That is our barrier restore cream. It's our moisturizer. Today is June 5th, we are officially 10 days away from launch, which saying this out loud, it still doesn't feel real. This has been such a crazy adventure and I feel like I have learned more than I've learned doing anything. And I just am having this moment where I'm feeling such a deep, deep, deep sense of gratitude and thankfulness for just the ability to create this brand, to create these products. I just got to my apartment and I've opened this bag. And this is my first time seeing the road mailer. Oh my gosh, it looks so good, I'm freaking out. There's been ups and downs, but truly I'm feeling just so excited and hopeful. This is so crazy, I haven't seen any of this in person officially yet. Oh, I'm so excited. These products and just this whole brand means so much to me. This is my first time creating something from the ground up. Um, I honestly have put so much into this brand and um, I don't know why I'm so emotional, but um, I put so much into this brand and um, I think there's a little part of me that is a slight bit nervous um, to put it out, but at the same time, just like really excited. I think I'm scared and nervous and excited and ecstatic and happy. I would give it a cut like an hour. An hour. Yeah. It's been awesome. Everything is live. We did it. We f***ing did it. It's, it's going to sell out. It's going yeah. crazy. Yes, it's going to sell out. We just did Good Morning America. We're on the way to live with Kelly and Ryan. Cool. So we're doing that, and then we're going to Instagram, and then we're going to Jimmy Fallon. That was okay, good. Blaze is sold out also. <laughs> we're at Instagram, about to do our Instagram live shoppable road event. I just got news from the meta team that the kit is sold out. It's gone. Okay, so. That fast? Getting the peptide glazing. I would not be anywhere without my team, without the amazing, hardworking people. The women on this team are absolutely incredible. They have worked their ass off. They were in the office today at like three in the morning, ready for launch. There has been so many things that have also just even gone behind the scenes, little bumps in the road, little things that come with, you know, putting out a brand. But I could not have enough good things to say about my team and the ladies of Road have made this whole entire thing possible. Hi, bud. Hi. 
Mwah. 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 These are for you guys. <gasps> oh my god, this is going oh, right to Nancy. <laughs> are you kidding me? This is going great. All the years of work, and it's now it's available. It's out. It's crazy. It's out today. It's and we out sold today. out. And you put the work in, bud. It paid off. I'm committed. Hey, Lee. Hey, Welcome back. I'm Mike. I'm going to take you to the curb. Honestly, my hope when people do get their hands on this brand and these products is that there will be people that are using them that have no idea that it's my brand, but they're using it because they're like, this is actually really good. I have the most fun. I feel the best. I feel the most passionate about creating this brand. And it's because it is actually something that from start to finish has had my hand in it. It feels like it's my child in a way and I get to give a piece of myself to people and to the world. I was born November 22nd, 1996. I'm a Sagittarius, and I was born a glazed donut. Oscar, don't bark if you're excited for road. Good job. <laughs> so he's a, he's a three, but, but he uses road. Oh, that he's means a, a 10. 10. <laughs>